National Federation High School Game of the Week. Live from the Memphis State Fieldhouse in Memphis, Tennessee, it's the National Federation High School Game of the Week. Tonight's matchup, Treadwell versus Oak Haven. And another enthusiastic and large crowd on hand. The reason, of course, another Friday night of high school basketball. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Green. And the reason they're here, or at least one of the reasons, is Anthony Hardaway. Another just perfect example of the great talent that's come out of the city of Memphis. Now, speaking of great talent, former NYU All-American and number one draft pick of the NBA, also played with the Knicks. Barry Kramer is my colleague tonight. Everybody here to see Hardaway. People at home watching want to see Hardaway. You've seen him, and you're impressed. Right, not, Mike, we've seen him before. We saw him last year against the Russian junior team, and he's a tremendous ball player. He's a versatile guy, a guy who can do everything. We're going to see him tonight playing point guard. He's one of the leading scorers in the county. He's one of the leading rebounders, assists, defenders, and block shots. The kid can do it all, and I love people that can go inside and out. And he's a great passer, and at six foot seven, the comparisons, as we said, Maybe to Magic Johnson. One of the things that you like about Hardaway is normally at that height you have to play center or forward in high school, but he's been able to play the guard spot. That's true. One of the things I worry about is the many expectations that are put on a kid like this. But this kid will not be a big man in high school and a small man in the NBA. At every successive level, he will go into college, he will play the guard spot again, he will go into the NBA and play the guard spot. He has learned the position that he will play on every level, and that could make him a great one. Now tonight's at Well versus Oakhaven. Hardaway versus Alexander. In the city of Memphis, some great high school basketball. At one forward position, the 6'1", 160-pound senior, number 32, Vincent Martin. And at the other forward position, 230-pound senior, number 44, Terry Alexander. The Hawks are... At the other guard position, a 6'7", and one half foot, 170-pound senior, Number 25, Anthony Hardaway. <laughs> At one forward position, a 6'1", 152-pound junior. Number 14, Mark Crutcher. <laughs> At the other forward position, a 6'4", 174-pound senior. Number 44, Tim Burrell. And it's senior, a 6'6", 189-pound sophomore. Number 40, James Burkett. As it's still a scramble, Thomas Northfleet comes away. That's Devin Starnes pulls up. Good offensive work this time from Oakhaven, but Hardaway comes away with it inside. Burkett is fouled. There's a good example of Hardaway's passing. He saw the open man up the floor and threw it up there quickly and he got that break. Treadwell will look to break at every opportunity, Barry. Right. There was the pass by Hardaway and that, that got this uh, foul opportunity. So James Burkett with three to Barry. There's Stokes, the senior point guard. Because of an injury, he's starting. Marcus Golden, a fine sophomore, not playing because of an knee injury. That one offers the rebound from Stokes, blocked by Alexander. Thomas Northley has it taken away from Burrell. Timothy Burrell with the fine defensive play, and here comes Hardaway. The starter inside the crusher, blocked, but a foul. Gorgeous feed from Anthony Hardaway, Beautiful. setting up the shot. They didn't get the two points, but they'll get the two free throws. Beautiful look away pass. Now watch him look one way and give it up to the guy cutting for a layup. Beautiful look away pass. One of the things you want to have an upbeat transition type game. And obviously Hardaway's great in the transition game. Well, okay, and Coach Ron Green said he wants to slow down that tempo. He'll need to do that. There's Mark Crutcher, three-pointer. Nice rebound from Stokes. Really improved. He's, he's a tough player. Hardaway pushes it up. Three-pointer. Three-pointer. We wanted to throw it inside Alexander. Alexander's game has really improved over the years. He's been dribbling the ball every place he goes, and he's really gotten better. He's been much more dedicated. Hardaway with his own rebound and a blocking foul called against Harry Alexander. So 
Hardaway will go to the line and shoot two, but already we've seen Hardaway do it from the inside and the outside. This is a three-pointer by Hardaway. He goes to the line and takes it effortlessly, puts it through. Junior guard. I really believe that Hardaway has a luxury here, though, Mike. You know, he's playing a point on a team where he is the biggest player. And not many coaches would allow their biggest players to learn that position. So he's, he's got an advantage, as you said earlier, in getting into college, having played the backcourt, and he's ready for his future. And this has to allow him to get second and third shots, and that, that could be the difference if they don't tire. Making the extra efforts to box out, that's for sure. Yeah. There's Hardaway. The penetration. Pretty move from Anthony Hardaway. That's a great move. Treadwell's Anthony Hardaway with seven points early on, but his team down by three. Not his fault, though, Barry Kramer. Nice move here. Great move. Now he penetrates. He splits the defense of the zone. Goes in for a layup. It shows his extension. Now, he went from the foul line in for laid up over the rim. So Hardaway with seven of his team's 11. Terry Alexander with nine of his team's 14. The two big guns coming up strong early on. If Alexander has to bring the ball up the court, that will hurt O'Kaven. Hardaway it'll... very enthusiastic. Of course, that streamer started in the big five in Philadelphia at the Palestra after the first basket. And Hardaway with the offensive rebound has it partially blocked to close the game down. I thought this was a pretty good block right here from behind. Cannot afford to have Alexander get into foul trouble as he picks up that one. Alexander with two fouls. It was a second effort there that created the foul. Hardaway shoots close to 80% from the free throw line. Ooh. Tough long pass. Hardaway with a nice pass to Burrell. Back to Hardaway. Awesome. Awesome play. The ball on Sports Channel for the first ever All-Star Saturday. That's tomorrow at 3.30 Eastern. Speaking of All-Stars, Anthony Hardaway doing the job for Treadwell, finishing off the break here. Oh, this shows his, his versatility. He can get up in the air on that fast break. Close. More fleet. Okay. Three members of Treadwell. There's Ligon. Theodore Jones. Can't get the roll. Battle on the boards. Crutcher comes away with it. Here comes Hardaway. A little too fancy that time. Very cocky kid. In fact, one of the great quotes that we, when they reach, I teach. Yeah, he's a, he's a showman. He likes to go with it. We're tied at 20. Early second quarter. Devin Storm tries to get it inside. Stolen away by Brown. Torrey Brown has come off the bench with some nice defensive work. Hardaway. Timothy Burrell is fouled. He's hope, holding his breath, hoping that's not against Terry Alexander. I don't think it was, but they let the ball get in too, side, too close and they had to try to block it. It would have been two. Hardaway, triple team. Beautiful pass to Crutcher. There's Garmer Curry with some choice words for James Burchett. Donaldson shooting the free throw. I think Donaldson is a sophomore. He's got some real potential as well. Donaldson a junior. It's important that when he help Alexander on the center or it's Norfleet, it's good to have a little guy controlling the ball so Alexander can move around and get to the spots where he should be to score. Hardaway, the dribble drive before the shot. It was a great move. He glided 10 feet to his left and still put it through. His balance was well, They're doing the job on the board so far. They rebound 16 for Okazen. Swept back. So we're still tied. Okazen at one point led by seven in the first half. The Treadwell coming back. Okazen's got to be patient, get a good shot here. Hardaway with the block, but also a foul as Donaldson going up against the big guy. You mentioned. Still tied at 28. Hardaway, three-pointer. That was an NBA three-pointer. He was and Okaven once again back in the lead. Two-point lead with 10 seconds to play. Foul called against Vincent Martin. An excellent teacher. And Hardaway was already 20 of his team's 32 points. He doesn't have to guess, does he, Mike? Well, he's been hearing it now for a couple of years. And Garmer Curry, the coach, says that's something they make sure they keep an eye on with their players. They've had a lot of talented players. Elliot Perry, of course, now at Memphis State plays. And he says they make sure they're very careful to let the...